I'm Aaron. Let's get going on our step fusion workout. You got four marches on top. Step touch. So this is our warm up. Full foot on the bench. Abdominals braced. Good to see you all again. Let's go again. Up and down. All right. You keep going. See this is side step. I'll show you again. So let's take those four marches on top, on the floor, side step. Yeah, on top, side step. All right, go up, down, side step. Lift that knee. You do it one more, here's a preview. It's a burpee thruster, and then two jumping jacks, or four jumping jacks. Up we go. Yeah, side step. Burpee thruster, check out the option. One legged lunge, side tap. Let's go. Up, step, burpee thruster, and jumping jacks. Bend your knees. Let's take the other leg march. All right, step touch arms. Up you go. Going this way. All right. So the goal here, get used to movement. Get the body going, get the blood pumping. Up, down. Now you've seen it before. So we go up and down, this leg. This time, sidestep off this way. Yeah, repeat. Up, down, coming this way with me. All right, good job, go. Nice. Where? I do too. Okay, adding on to that. Let's go up again. Off this way. Down you go for the burpee thruster. Just a reminder, on the option. Yeah? All good. Let's go again. So you have choices to dial it up or dial it down. Let's hit the ground. And those jumping jacks. I remember the number now. Active stretch. Up and back. Active stretch. Now if you wanted to, you could do this on the floor, this active stretch. Just a little calf stretch while we're moving. Alright. Other side. Go up and back. Up and back. Reaching those arms. Yeah. What do you say we take it from the top? This leg up and go. Where to? Off to the side. Yeah. Down you go. Jumping jacks. Bend those knees. Up we go. Other leg. Off to the side. All right. Come on now. And let's see you bend those knees. Thumbs touch. Up we go again. Switching feet every time, of course. Downstairs. Bend them. You got one more left in you. Go. Uh-huh. Yes. Open it up. Next move, preview. Skater jump squat. You can take the jump out. Like there's a Velcro on your shoe and on the floor. Just to get those muscles revved up. Here we go. Up, tap, punch. Okay. Track two. So that was our warm up first. Now this is step combo. Get you more in the mood for stepping. You're gonna open it up, squeeze your butt. So as much as you squeeze that butt, give the upper body a squeeze as well. There you go. Yes. Okay. Three repeater. See that? You want to center your weight between the ball of your foot and the heel. Switching on the abs to take pressure off the knee. Three repeater. 
Two basics. Always make sure to get the entire heel on the bench. Again, making sure to take pressure off the knee. Now you notice I'm on two risers. You can always lower your step height. Did you see that move? That's the tap over. You may have heard it called a ricochet in the past. What do you say we make it a knee tap over? Yeah. And you can make that bigger with a jog instead of the basic. Try the knee tap over with a little propulsion. Jog up the center. All good. Let's do it again. Yes. Up the middle. This way. Two jogs. Let's return to our hip extension. Squeeze that butt. Watch, two basics. You're gonna repeat that. Go again, hip extension. You've got two basics. Take a look. All right, hip extension, corner to corner. Yeah. And take a walk. Now, you can always do those two basics instead. Okay? My microphone cord is loving my arm right now. Go again. All right. Take that walk with me, or go up the center. Let's stick with the hip extension. Just keep doing them. Now, one basic. Check it out. Three repeater. This corner. We're on the other leg now. Two basics. I'm going to try as hard as I can not to mention which foot I'm on. You're going to use your eyes to find that. Because this class can be taught the way the choreography is written to have you facing your class, or you can have your back to the class. Every class is different out there, and you know your class better than I do. You want to go bigger? Let's do it. Take some jogs. Here we go. Two jogs. Time for a good butt squeeze. Let's do it. Lift. Hip extension. Squeeze the upper back as well. Ooh, I meant to take two basics there. You do those two basics. Take a look. All right. Hit it. And we're walking, folks. Or you're doing the two basics. It's up to you. Corner to corner. I'll show you what I mean. You can walk. Or you can go down the center. Yeah. Go again. All right, walking. Like what I'm seeing. Go again. Take that walk. Beautiful. Three knee repeater in the corner. Practice centering that weight. Yes. Zipping up through the abs. Even though we get low on the legs, we take that pressure off the knee. Now, another chance to open it up, go. At the end of these step combos, I'd like to clear our head a little bit of all that choreography. So simple stuff here, just give it a big old squeeze. All right, are you ready for Tabata One? So now, we're gonna be down. You can have a mat underneath you if you need it. Set up for a chest press, your fingers over the edge, and it's a chest press, Leg lift. Chest press. Leg lift. You can be on your toes or your knees. See this option on the knees? Grip is relatively wide like you were doing a barbell chest press. How about one more chest press? All right. Now the tempo changes. A little agility run. A leap knee, run to the other side, and repeat. Close this foot up. Walk on. Yep. On. So you take the long way. On. Run. On. Yeah. On. Good stuff. On. And we're running like we're on hot poles. Sneak that next leap in there. Boom. Good work. So come on down with me for our chest press leg lift. Hands are wide. And remember, you're on your knees or your toes. Let's do it. All right, keep them coming. Yes, good stuff. 
You got it. Woo! All right. Let's approach it from this side, because with that extra leap, this evens it out. So leap, run around. Close to split on one. Yeah? We're running on that hot surface with bare feet, right? Go long. Pump the arms. One more leap. Boom. Now we're going to make things a little faster. Push up as you come up. You lift the leg. All right. Come on down. One. Lift. Lift. If you're not comfortable going this fast, stay with the earlier version. Remember, you can do this on your knees. Lift. 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 All right. Come on up. Woo. Things are going to get faster here, too. You won't have a spar to run. Leap, run, shorter distance, faster time. One. Again, you can stay with the slower version if you wanted. Maybe you divide the class up, up to you. Yes. Come on. All right, boom. Nice work. Last round of both exercises. Set up for that push-up. Four. Three. On your knees or toes. One. Down. Leg lift. Leg lift. Woo! Do you know where you are? Get low. Pushing through the bottom of your palm. Yes. Hang in there. Almost there. Ooh, sneak one more in. All right, you heard the man. Final Tabata. Approach from this side. Close his foot. Three, two, go. Woo! Fast footwork. We love it. All right. Come on. Hang in there. Try to get that full foot on. Boom. Nice work. Fist bump. Walk it off after these Tabata sections. It's about a 50 second break time. So you're gonna go ahead and walk it off in between. Great work out there. Plenty of time to keep moving. So, we are going to be moving on to our power step one. You're going to see some moves with some propulsion. And we'll do a little propulsion demonstration. So you're going to step and lift a knee. When you add propulsion, you step and lift that knee and you add that extra lift, pushing through the balls of the feet. Using your calf muscles. So you can always dial it down or dial it up. Yeah. Now the real thing. Let's do it. Big reach. Corner to corner knees, obviously. And a lift. So you see I'm getting my full foot on, as are you. Step and push through the toes, using those calf muscles. All right, we're jogging down the center. Notice the lead foot. Pumping the arms. Dialing down, if you want, or dialing up. Always jog up on the bench, step down on the floor. Three on top, try it. Three, two, one. Switch. Again, you can dial this down too. Uh-huh. Or dial it up. All right. Some elbow grease. We're going to touch the sky with our power step one. Here we go. Two power knees in the corner. Jog up the center twice. Yes. Go. To the sky and down the middle. 
Hit it. Down the center. Other side, please. Reach. Down the middle. Nice work. Remember the warm up? Burpee thruster. Let's add a push up. Now, jumping jacks. You know your options. Side tap. Go again. With a push up. Yes. Makes it a real burpee. This leg. Jog up the center. Jog or basic. That's realistic right there. Me checking my mic as you would out there. Okay, we got our three jogs. It automatically switches speed for you. Don't overthink it. Keep them coming. Come on, give it some elbow grease. Couple more. One more time. Where are we going? Over here, twice. Big. Down the center. Reach. Hit it. I want to hold you. Go. Reach for that sky. Dogs down the center. Let's see that burpee. Go. Squat. Push back. Push up. Jumping jacks. Bend your knees. Go again. Push up. And jacks. Now, we got our three jogs on top. See, I slapped the thigh of the leading leg. It's my subtle cue. Go again. We're going on a journey. Two. Jacks. Check it out. In lieu of the jogs. Yeah? You know you love it. But if you want to keep those jogs, it's up to you. Check this out. All right. So it's when you get to the, the jacks. Three jacks. Straight jump. You could also turn the dial down and still get that extra little rush. This is an every person class. Do you want to fly like a bird in the sky? I'll show you how. You could do three, two, one, air. Up to you. Just pretend like you won the lottery. Yeah? Go. So pick your level. Go. Reach. Come on. Reach. Almost there. One more. Stick it to the ceiling. Go. All right, time for our next Tabata. We got the beat. You're gonna grab one big weight. Tricep press. Three. Overhead. One. Bend your elbows. Knees are soft. Abdominals braced. If you find this is too fast, you can always go slower. You can always half time it. Yes. One more. Working those arms, now we're going to work the legs. Special kettlebell. You don't have to use a kettlebell. Check it out. Back stepping lunge. Two, one. Kettlebell swing. Same leg. Step way back. Your arms are straight. Chest is lifted. Squeeze that butt. It's a glutes exercise. Big part of our legs workout. Our total body workout. Let's go back to those triceps. Overhead press. Let's go. Woo! Abs are switched on like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. Elbows are turned inwards. 
Keep them coming. Yes. Woo. Come on. To the buzzer. All right. So now the other leg with that kettlebell. Remember, you can use the free weight as well. Chest lifted. Other leg. Swing. Squeeze the butt as you squeeze through. Again. Come on, bring it through. Straight arms. Chest up. All right. Who's got the beat? We do. We're going to do a tricep push-up now. Narrow grip. You may want to have a mat underneath you. You've got choices. Knees, toes. You could also put the elbows down in front. So you choose. Because we got the beat. Push. Push. Yes. All right. Let's grab that kettlebell or weight, resembling a kettlebell. This time we'll alternate legs. Two, one. Swinging. Other side. Big swing. Yes. All right. Squeeze that butt. Go again. Big squeeze. Good. Weight down. Back to our tricep push-up. And you can always stay with the overhead press if you like. One. Down. Who's got the beat? Sometimes I wonder. All right. Take your choice. Pick your poison. Remember, this works too. All right, last one. You heard the man final to bottom. Even though we're alternating, let's start with this leg just for fun. Long arms, chest up. Two, one. Other side. Yeah. Squeeze it through. All right, again. Big swing. Your chest is a helper. Your glutes are the main mover. Finish it off. Lots of downtime. Enjoy it. Walk it off. Great time to connect with your participants. Say hi. Hi. And also a good time to demo moves. Coming up, we're going to turn our bench. Now, You can alter your intensity greatly by lowering your step height. That goes for any exercise we do here. So just remember, you're in control. If your knee goes up too high, depending on your height, 90 degrees is the limit. So recommended to start lower and work your way higher, but no higher than 90 degrees. Always best, again, to step with that full foot on. We're going to start off on the floor and get into the groove. Great fun. Yeah, bring it forward, walk forward. Get into that groove this way. All right, three kicks. Alternating. One basic. Kick. Three. One, we got that basic. All right, good stuff. Again, full foot on, abdominals braced, shoulders back and down. Three, have some fun. That's what it's all about. Let's add something to it. Three, two, now check out this option. Watch. All right, completely optional. You can stay with the basic instead. But I like to turn. Go again. What do you got? Woo, I like it. Go again. Three, two, one. Yeah? Come on, forward. This way, great fine. Now, you got your kicks. Three, two, one. Hit 
that turn. Walk forward. Yes. That way. Break on. Woo. Three kicks. One turn. Hey, a diagonal walk. Kick and walk back. So diagonal. It's just like an over the top and march. In fact, if you wanted to, you can do just that. So up to you, okay? Next move, it's called a rocker. You knock and rock, you go over the top. Knock and rock, over the top. Yes. I say yes a lot, don't I? Now, always make sure that you check for sweat. Great time to do that is in those little Tabata breaks at the end of them. Make sure you're not slipping in a slide. Good stuff. We're going. Watch this preview. Knock and rock. Switch curl. Knock and rock. Hit that switch curl. Now this is also called a hop turn in some places. You call it what you want. Safety first. Make sure you lift your heel. Lift the rubber of your shoe so that the balls of your feet can pivot. If you're not comfortable with it, then do the over the top. Make sense? Are we clear for takeoff? Yes, you are. Now it's time to put some moves together. Let's see that diagonal, diagonal, let's see a big kick. Other side. Knock and rock. Touch girl. Oh, you loved it. Let's do it again. Diagonal. Other side. Knock on my door. Over you go. Hey, from the very top, bring it. Ooh. Yes. How many kicks? That's right, three. How about a turn? Take me there, let's go. This way. Three kicks. Big pivot. We're walking diagonal. Big kick. Other side. You can never clap enough in a song like this. Knock and rock. Lift up. All right. You make the arms whatever you want. Diagonal. Oh. Both sides. You're knocking and rocking. Hey, keep the switch curl. Now, clear your mind as you lift up. A chance to just push it. Lift that heel over the top is an option. Good. Hey, give me a pointer. Time for another Tabata. This time, we're gonna row with two big weights. So take those two big weights. Three, two, squat row. Sit back in both heels. Squeeze those shoulder blades backwards. So we went from a little disco into some working. So that was Sunday night. This is Monday morning. Squeeze those shoulder blades. All right, weights down. Now we got a little agility run. I want you to start from this side. On, over, on, back, run behind, and squat jump. Cardio blocks. Take a run. And we got a squat jump. Go. On, over, on, back. Take a run. Squat jump. Close to the bench. Run behind. Soft landing. Let me see those elbows. All right, Dave. Music gets slow. We'll do a different muscle conditioning exercise this time. Split your stance. Zip up the abs. Bicep curl. Hammer curl. So decide your weights. You can go relatively big here, but you decide what big is. Knees are soft, abdominals brace. Shoulders are back and down, away from your ears. All right, sneak one more in there. Let's stay over in this side just for the heck of it. On over. On back, run around, squat jump. Two, one. Cardio 
single down attack. Knee up and over. Single down attack. Knee up and over. All right, hey, straddle knee. Woo, we'll get right back into it. And you know, you can go up or down. Let's go up first. And if you want to, get low. Woo! Where are my roses? Good job. Again. Let's see some elbows. Down tap. Where? Knee up and over. Down, reach. Knee up and over. Hey, folks. Split arch. Single squat. Split march. Double. Single squat. Want to say that again? Split march. Double squat. Single. One more time. Split march. Double. Single. Hey. Straddle. Round three. Give it some lift if you want. You can always dial it down though. No pressure. Have fun. Woo. Come on. Sink in there. Sit back at the heels. Soft landings. Ladies and gentlemen, easy down tap. How's it going? Lots of choreography. It's been a great journey to the moon and back. Without propulsion, just reach up. We're going to put our moves together. The down tap, the over the top, that split, split arch combo. Have some fun, folks. Ready? Bigger! Yes! Up and over. Split march. Double squat. Single squat. Down tap. Knee up and over. Split march. Double squat. Single squat. You want to do it again? Down tap. Go. Let's do it. No bouncing. Split march. Double squat. Single squat. All right. Come on. One more time. Down tap. Go. Split. Double. Single. Reach up. One more Tabata. We are Gonna do some shoulder work. Start light, split your stance if you'd like. One arm goes straight, one arm to the side. Now singles. You hear that little synthesizer noise. Keep them coming. Keep the knees soft. Keep those abdominals braced. One more, even it out. Now weights down. This leg, up and down twice, run on the floor. Two, two one, one, two, go. It sneaks up on you. Up, up, as best as you can. Try to get that full foot on. Go, up, up, on the floor, to the bell. All right. So just, which arm went straight first? Do the other arm, if you can remember. Two, one. Two slows. One more slow. Knees soft, abs on. Singles. This is a lightweighted exercise. Working the front part of your shoulder. You need these muscles to assist you, especially when doing those push-ups or those kettlebell swings. All right. Other leg, 
up and down twice, run on the floor. Three, two, one, run the floor. Go. Go. Again, your height helps determine your intensity. Can we sneak another in there? Sure we can. Oh, run it out. Yeah. You could go a little bit bigger weight on the overhead press if you wanted. Go. Press. Make sure you keep your abdominals braced when you do these. Protect your lower back. Knees definitely soft. Split stance like this, highly recommended. Press. 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 Good. Gently place those down. Back to this first leg. Jog up once, jog on the floor four. Yeah. Sneaks up on you. Let's see, get those knees up. One more. All right. Hey, last set of the muscle conditioning part of it. Get underneath. Go. Abs on. Knees soft. Protect that lower back. Press. 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 Come on. Your chest, your shoulders, and your abs all working together here. Final Tabata. You heard the man, final Tabata. Woo! So this leg, up and down, run on the floor. Four, three. Woo! Let's go! Come on! You can do it. Hey, give me that fist bump out there. Good work. Keep walking, keep moving. A little bit of setup time. So, you might want a map here. I'm gonna get one myself. So we're gonna throw that mat down right in front of the bench. And you may, depending on your floors, want to double it up. We're going to face this way. Starting off with our plank. We're going to be on our knees first, weight forward. So you want to pull your knees back a little bit, so it's core and more coming up here. Get you all set up. Right hand to left shoulder. So wait for that beat to kick in, just like that. So you want to keep those knees a good angle away and be forward in your weight. Hands are a little bit wide. Good. Again. All right, now decide. You can come up on your toes. So what you want to do here is do a little test. If you find you're turning like this, it's better to stay on your knees. Yeah? So see if you can stay on those toes without any wobble. Three, two, one. Keep the weight forward. Like I said though, you can always dial it down. Yes. Keep it forward. Now, what do you say? We all come down to our knees. Opposite leg lift as you touch that shoulder. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Keep your weight forward. Good. Now, up to you. Can you do it on your toes? Yeah. Hold it. 
I would gently switch into the forearms hover plank. And look, you're going to take your toes to the back of the room. Go, right leg. Up, up. Down, down. This is the on the knees version. Notice that your belly's still lifted off the ground. You keep your weight forward. Like you keep your promises, yeah? Keep that butt down. If that's a struggle, you're probably better off with the opposite knee down. Hang in there. Eight. Seven. Point the toes to the back of the room. Oh yeah. Hang in there. Four more. Keep that butt down. Three. Two. One. And pull back. Okay, we're gonna take our small weight of our weights here. One of those weights we use in shoulders. Put it behind your head. Now you bring your knees up as you forward crunch. So double knee lift, forward crunch. When you bring this weight behind your head, make sure you don't smash your fingers, okay? Hold it wide. You can use a plate or a dumbbell, all good. Or no weight at all. Again, exhale. Inhale, extra credit if you can point your toes away from you. Close the gap between the ribs and the hips. Again. One more, hold it here. Now extend your arms. And then move your knees away from you as though you were going to serve dinner on those shins. Keep it nice and flat. Reach those arms up. Ready? Crunch it in. Unfold your knees. And then open up. Two, three, four. Crunch in. Open up. Now remember what I told you before. Don't smush those fingers. Check it out. The option with one leg. A great option, mind you. So you don't have to do two legs, okay? Come on, four more. Open it up. Like I said, one leg option if you need it. Come on. Open it up. One more time. Drop that weight. Now from where you are, turn inwards, turn to the back of the room, roll over into your hover plank on your knees or on your toes. Take a look, do a little body check. Is your butt up in the air? Slide forward to keep that butt down. If you have a hard time maintaining this, you can always put it, your knees down or take little breaks. Put your knees down just for a little bit, then pull them back up. Think of sucking the back of your knees towards the ceiling. All the way to the end. So close. Come on. Hang in there. And drop those knees. Pull back. We made it. Sit on back. Best time to stretch is when you're warm. And the opposite of what I kept reminding you of the, and during the whole workout, now you get to arch your back. Roll the shoulders back. Have a seat. Sure feels like we went to the moon and back. Instead of like, tip from the hip, reach for those toes. Stretch the back of that. Switch legs. Pull the clay around the body. Pull the thick and thin. The quiet nights. The hot and wind. Pull the clay around the body. Pull the thick and thin. The quiet nights. The hot and wind. Then use your hands. 
hands and throw the good to assist you in standing. Legs go nice and wide. Slide gently down the front of your body to reach for the floor. Bend this knee. Come on over to the side. Open up those inner thigh muscles. We're gonna walk our hands over to the other side, bending the other knee. From the crazy and the different to the more the same. From the grossest scale to our became. From the crazy and the different to the more the same. Come back to the center. Heel toe in. Sit back at both heels. Reach for the sky. Take a walk behind the bench. Step up to the moon. One foot goes back. Take an arm across your chest as you stretch the calf muscles. Palm in between the shoulder blades. Excellent. Let's do the other leg. Step that other heel back. Arm across. And in between. And the bird in his eye. Let's step down. Get your balance. Grab this side. Try to match the knees together. Pull out to your ear, the air, or yourself. And then get your balance. Cross over, hold on with one hand, reach for the bench with your other hand. Stretch the glutes. And on cross. Grab onto the ankle, stretch the front of the leg, the quads. Reach behind. Get your balance if you can. Great if you can use two hands. Match those knees together. Last but not least, cross over. Reach for your bench with one hand, reach for your foot with the other. Stretch those glute muscles. Let's uncross. Let's open up. Give yourselves a big hand. Ladies and gentlemen, instructors out there, that was Step Fusion, Volume 2. My name's Aaron, and we'll see you.